Uh, the most important thing uh, that in terms of for what I cover is the superconducting material where you have the first claimed replication of a positive result. And it's from a Chinese lab and Chinese labs aren't exactly into replicating South Korean lab results. So it isn't a friendly audience. So you should take it, I think, seriously. You also had two models of a material, like so you can model where the basically electrons go uh, in, in software and both uh, labs, one of which is a US national lab, uh, came back as positive uh, for that. So betting markets moved up to 50-50 uh, that this is a, a real uh, room temperature superconductor, which it's a lot more, it's like better than room temperature. It's a, it gets pretty hot. Uh, and you know the human part here is also interesting where you have a lot of people putting their reputations on the line at this point. There's a lot of people sort of chiming in saying, you know, this is potentially real. So uh, this would be a big deal, like on the order of like, I don't know, nuclear weapons. Like this would be a really big magical sort of material that would be out there if it's true. And one that should be on everyone's radar at this point, because I mean, you're getting replications and over the next few weeks, we'll know more definitely. I mean, there are all kinds of ways it could not work out. It could not be you know, high enough uh, current, it could be fragile, there could be any number of things that could make it, um, you know, not as immediately applicable. But once, if it's true, if this is actually a material, they'll be able to adapt it, use this process, this sort of concept um, to really transform all kinds of aspects of my coverage from like electric motors to anything that involves electricity, magnetics, which is basic like robotics, everything would be seriously impacted. The whole thing, uh, it's, a, it's a big deal. It would be like they carry cancer. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.